What is going on guys? We are here gonna be doing our daily bosses. Now I haven't played Maple Story in a super long time, but in the last three days, I heard about this Terra burning event where you get a burning character up to level 200. Not only that, you get a bunch of free stuff. So I already got two of these equips, two unique. I got hyper body. I just gotta do a bit of meso farming. I'm making a Kana. So, so far this is the only character I have on this account in the reboot server. Um, but I am making a Kana right now, and I'm going to be using that Kana to be farming more Mesos and hopefully upgrading this character right now. But this is what I've got so far. They gave us all this for free. The, the weapon is still temporary because I have to hit level 200 in order to open this box right here. So once I open that, should be fine. Uh, actually, I can use this on like this helmet and try to get some luck out of that, actually. Wait, I can't use the Occult Cube on that equip? Uh... <clears throat> From rare to epic? Yeah, this is epic. Well, well, why can't I use it? Hold on. Let's see. Wait, not this one, not this one. This one. Nice! Alright, so, right off the bat, 6% luck. I mean, it's not the greatest, but for what I, like, for right now, I just need as much luck as I can possibly get and then we're gonna farm mesos and actually cube it now I'm kind of dumb because they give us a bunch of free cubes and it decided that I would use them before the miracle time so that was kind of dumb but anyway today we're gonna be doing some of the bosses I don't know why why am I in this map I have no idea why I'm in this map guys let's let's just I don't even know what, what these guys don't even give any exp or nothing okay we need to get out of this map hold on I gotta turn this up for you guys this song is so good Alright, anyway, that song is like one of my favorite songs in the game. It's like, dun, 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 it's just so good. Alright, so we are gonna go to the Horntail Cave. We are gonna boss and moss and see if we can 1v1 this guy. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can. I don't think it's gonna be an issue, so mm, let's go ahead and do it. I cannot fight Chaos Horntails, so we will do the normal mode. Here he comes. I want to get off the ground because I'm pretty sure his tail just one-shots you. So what we're going to do here is put this ability so that he focuses that guy. Oh, God. Okay, we'll just focus the tail right away. I don't want to die from it. I'm pretty sure if when it goes up like that, it just one-shots you. Yeah, there we go. Got rid of the tail. Get that out of the way. I'm not sure what part of him I'm hitting right now. Oh, that seems more efficient than what I was doing before. And I'm pretty sure that we should be able to complete this. Nice. So we can solo normal horn tail on this character. I did it before, but I did it with my friends. I didn't solo it, so. Oh, we got the earrings. Nice. All right, guys. And we got some other good stuff. Good thing I used that double drop coupon. Because I'm pretty sure I would not have gotten the earrings. Wait. Okay, nothing else is there. Let's go ahead and leave. And let's take a look at these, actually. These earrings that I got here. Those are amazing. Plus 36 luck, guys. And 2,000 max HP. That helps me so much. You know why? Because my max HP as a dual blade is really low. Hence why I kept the hyper body on my pants. So that is incredible. So I'm going to go ahead and enhance this thing up and see if I can get it, you know, to something decent. It's getting expensive here. I'm, I'm out of mesos. That's why I need to make a character to farm mesos on. But that's all we can do for now. But plus 3,000, that's that's pretty nuts. All right. This, uh, the one I have right now gives HP. Let's see what the potential we get on this is. Okay, this one gives a bit of luck and... I think I want the one with we're not fighting hard hilla or hard practice hilla. We're just going to go to the normal one for today. I think when I play with my group of friends, because the reason I came back into the game was I had a group of friends that decided to make characters with me. So because of that, uh, we're probably going to, you're going to see some, some bossing done together with some friends and stuff. So that's going to be fun, especially when we all get to like the later game stuff. 
the one thing you must watch out for and must and it's a must is the damage reflection so when it says Hilla is about to reflect your attacks you get the hell out of the way now will I do that we will see now give me your pet that's all I ask for I have my two times drop coupon on and everything oh yeah right here so you don't attack her during this part and she can't really do anything. I'm a dual blade. I have like a bunch of avoidability. Haha. <laughs> you can't hit me. Oh my god. Okay, once that purple thing goes away from her head. Oh, we gotta go inside this thing and then just hit her. Otherwise, I think she also one shots you if you don't go inside the pinnacle. Wait, what does Hilla's curse do? I don't even know. Use an all cure potion? I have one actually. Nice. Alright. Nice. Anything good? Nah, just some more occult cubes and stuff. Okay, I'm pretty sure these earrings and the ring make a set together with like some of the other items, like uh, all the marks, and hopefully we get the eye accessory from this or something. And the face accessory, excuse me, I have the eye accessory, because that'll give me, if I have the face accessory here, that'll give me another 10 all stats and 5. Uh, magic attack, but not only that, it'll it'll give me the no, not easy. It'll give me the uh, HP five percent, and that's helpful for a dual blade because my HP is kind of low. Uh, I do have the hyper body pants, which is really nice because look at this, boom! And there I get like six thousand extra HP. Oh, whoops! I gotta use my other skills. Hey, cool! We're getting this all done in the same drop coupon, which is even more awesomer. Uh, let me check my. Tab, make sure I have enough space. Uh, pretty sure. Oh, I got the MVP title. Oh, that's nice. Alright. Let me just pop this. I'm pretty sure we can just one shot him. Like, I don't even think it's gonna be a challenge. Yeah, there, he's just dead. See ya, buddy. Nice. Is that the face accessory? And the eye accessory. Boom, baby. Alright, that's awesome. We got it in the first try. And train 3%. Even better, man. Oh, God. Here we go, guys. They spawned an elite monster on my map. Now, this is something that came in recent years in the game that I'm not used to. And I, quite frankly, don't enjoy it. The reason is, this thing has, like, 50,000 HP. Or a lot more than that. It has, like... This thing has, like, 500 billion HP. And you literally gets in the way sometimes they just one shot you and then they debuff you and then they put curses on you and then they just wreck you and it's just it's just a horrible time guys like i hate these elite monster things they are so annoying but uh you know hey now apparently it's part of the game gotta deal with it yada 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 so Alright guys, yeah, so the level up should be coming really soon. This wonderful gentleman, Kana man, decided that he was going to help me. Really nice of him. You know, just such a nice guy here. Look at the amount of monsters on the map with Kishinin. It's just ridiculous, guys. Like, this is nuts. That skill is so good. I got to make a Kana so I can help out my friends by Kishinin their maps and stuff. Um, so, I think this guy is he's level 187. Wow. So, he should... Uh, definitely be doing the same damage as me because i think he took advantage of the burning event to make a kana you know so that's uh really awesome right there um do i get any more of these no oh wait i had active wait i have active hyper skills that i did not put points into lads okay wow okay that's uh i'm pretty dumb uh okay wow all right let's try this stuff out wait that is nuts guys that is absolutely nuts wait a second i had that skill the whole time and i didn't even use it what is this Oh, it's a buff.
Oh, so I hit them like two extra times. I didn't even know I had those skills, man. Look at this. I'm hitting them two extra times. What's the cooldown on this? Is there one? 90 seconds. Still, guys. Still. Alrighty. So, I think for now, that's enough training for the day. Basically got three levels for free. I want to figure out how to fight... Wait. Do I go to this? Path of Time. Okay, I want to fight Papalatus, guys. The big clock guy, because apparently they reworked him, and I have not tried the new one yet. Uh, I really want to see what that's all about. So let's go ahead and fight this guy. So I think we just talked to this guy, except this quest. There shouldn't be... I shouldn't have to fight any monsters or anything, I think. Okay. So... Nice. Uh, Papalatus jolting something. Uh, okay, so do I receive... What do I do? What do I have to do? I'm pretty sure something's off at Clock Tower's bottom floor. Okay. Where's Clock Tower's bottom floor? Deep inside the Clock Tower. Okay, let's go... Can't go there. Can't go there. Can I go... Wait, what do I do, guys? Okay. Where is Clock Tower's... Oh, it literally says... In fat writing here, Clock Tower's bottom floor. Origins of Clock Tower. Deep inside the Clock Tower. So I gotta go deep inside the Clock Tower here, I think. I think I literally have to go into that portal, like this portal right here. Is this deep inside the Clock Tower? Yeah. Here we are. Okay. Okay, guys. And then... Let's go into normal mode. I don't have a dimensional... Crack fragment. Let me talk to Flo in the path of time. Okay, what do I do to fight this boss, man? How, where is deep inside the clock tower to check if everything's all right? Uh, I did all the prequests. It took me uh, a decent amount of time, like uh, 10 minutes or so. Not very long. I had to follow a guide. That's why it took so long. But we can now fight Papalas. We got our piece of cracked time. And the quests were not actually that bad. So we're going to try the normal mode. Now, normally I would do the easy one first. I am almost 100% sure that I cannot do the Chaos one just based on, like, I don't, I'm don't. i pretty sure I can't. So we will try this. Let's go ahead and... Wait, I have a lot of these. What? Is that what I drop? Oh, is this... Do I have to, like, drop that to fight him? Or what's going on here? Oh, we have a minute and something until something happens. Oh my goodness, this guy's tanky. Maybe I should have done the uh, easy one. I definitely should have done... I definitely should have done the easy one. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, good thing I leveled up first. Okay, we're going to do the easy one right here. Normal Papalatus is a little bit too Papalatus for us. So we're going to attempt to do the easy one. Because we're easy. Yeah. Easy mode. You don't have a dimensional crack fragment. You need one if you want to find Papalatus. And I've already entered the clock tower today. Wow, I can't even go in again. Okay, tomorrow we will do easy Papalatus. We did all that just to do it at that dead end. Because. That sucks. <clears throat> that sucks. It's all good, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a ridiculously all over the place one fighting bosses, training, doing equipment upgrades, trying to fight the big platypus himself, Papalatus, but it was a disaster. Could not get in there. Uh, unfortunately, attempted normal and realized that it was too hard, so then we went through. We're gonna do easy next time. I promise we're gonna fight easy next time. So, next time, there will be a next time, and I'll see you guys then.